We are off to Dollar Tree. Whoever decided Dollar Tree should open at 8 a.m. was a smart person. Come on. Come on, let's go. Okay, we'll get a cart. We left the Phoenix off. And now we're here. <gasps> this way, Avery. This way. This way. Come on. This way. <laughs> She's like, I'm free. No, let's go get a cart. Come on. This way. Hey, this way. This way. Go, go, go. Good job. This way. <laughs> Come on. I love shopping this early because the store is so nice and quiet and everything is in its place. It's not like a crazy mess. So I love shopping this early. Avery, do you like shopping this early? Hey. Hey. Just looking at everything. Hey. Say hi. <laughs> I'm looking for stuff for... Actually, I need bubbles. More bubbles. This is pretty big container of bubbles. I wonder if they're any good. What's Bub this? Say bubbles. Say bu Bub bubbles. Good job. And I need chalk. I still haven't found Bub chalk. Bub this one's all squished. Let's change it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cute. No, you can't open it. So I'm cleaning up the kitchen and stuff because I kind of had a mess. Since John's been sick, he went to work today, but he was still feeling really, really sick. Um, I, we've had like a whole bunch of medicine up here. And I've had like three different containers because I'm trying to figure out how to like, like, he likes them out. So he remembers to take them and everything. So I don't know. I was just doing that. But I, I forgot to show you guys the thank you card that phoenix's teacher sent when we sent her birthday gifts i thought that was so cute that she printed it out and sent it to us and yesterday i almost burned down our kitchen go figure so i'm okay. rushing to get the kids fed and changed and everything ouch i feel like a bump here um and get them out the door so that they can come with me to therapy and um i was also cooking empanadas <laughs> so i had it on one burner but um I decided to move it because the kids were over here so I wanted to move it far away so I moved it over and I forgot to turn off this burner but it was really low so I guess I didn't notice and I put one of these plates one of these like target plastic plates on it with napkins because I was gonna put the ones that were done on there and I'm, for a while I was like smelling something weird I'm like what is that smell and I'm looking outside and then I went to lift the plate like I smelled it, but I didn't know that it was burning. I went to lift the plate, like I went and I looked at it, and I see the big hole in the plate and the flames in here. Grabbed the plate, which was stupid because I could have totally burned my hand. But I was like, I need to get the plate off of there, right? Like, so then I like turn off the fire, get the plate off. It was like a huge hole in it, and I was just like, oh my goodness, I almost burnt down the whole kitchen, and we were all in the kitchen, and oh my god, I don't know, and I'm like, oh, what, like, in that moment, you don't think, like, hello, water, water gets, you know, the fire down, so I just threw it in the sink, and turned it off, and I was just like, oh my god, we almost died, but Avery's here playing, I'm about to come play with her before her nap, and um, then when she's napping, I'm going to go clean out their closet because it's been overdue. The Chucky, um, because it's overdue. Chucky, the the Blaze show. He says, "Where's my Chucky?" And she says it. Every say Chucky. <laughs> um, it's overdue and my friend yesterday bless her heart gave me a big bag of hand-me-down clothes from her daughter into tea perfect for avery i mean perfect like i just bought her a few things and i have a whole bunch of other things to buy her and i don't even have to buy her any of it i'll probably buy it like a little bit here and there chucky just because they're cute outfits that i want for her to have but i can buy them in a bigger size for later in the winter because they're more like wintry but I mean pants, shirts, she even got these cute little boots. And I bought Avery a pair of boots, but I bought them a size six and she's a size five right now, four or five. Um, and they're like long. And these are like the same ones pretty much, but they're short. So it's like perfect for this weather. I mean, it was, I, I love hand-me-downs. Hand-me-downs are the best because kids don't get a lot of use out of clothes. Avery, all Avery's clothes that I've got given to hand-me-downs have been in perfect condition because it's like they wear it a few times and they grow out of it especially at this age so 
Oh, I'm so thankful for that. So I am going to go clean out their closet, put everything away, put all the new stuff away and um, like kind of go, I kind of went through and took out everything that doesn't fit, but I'm going to like do it again because there's some things that it's like, oh, I think she could wear this one more time. But now I'm just going to like take everything out, put everything in like, um, I want to put everything in like outfits. So like the shirt with the pants, so it's just easier and obviously I can change it up, but for, for the most part. So yeah, let me do these dishes real quick so that I can go hang out with Avery before her nap and then I have like a bump here. Anybody else do that when you put your hair too tight but my hair is not even, I don't know guys, I'm deteriorating. Oh God, you know when you just have a bad day? I've been having a lot of those lately and I, I'm just gonna write it off as a bad month because so I'm trying to get Avery down for a nap because I want to finish fix their closet. I started with her and she it was just a big mess. So I said, let me put her down for a nap because she was tired. It was nap time. So I'm laying her down. It's nothing. She's like, drinks her milk, is rolling around, is laughing, is rubbing her eyes, is looks like she's asleep. Then she's awake. It's an hour of this. And then she starts coughing and then she starts crying and then coughing and then she projectile vomits uh, if i did not know what projectile vomiting was before i definitely know what it is now it was just and it kept on and kept on and kept on and then i'm like like waiting for her to stop so i can grab her and bring her to the bathroom she's sitting on her bed at this point and she's sitting in it because it's just going all over around her and it's like a lot of liquid and a projectile and it's everywhere and i'm like waiting for her to stop so i can move her and it just wouldn't stop so i finally like moved her to the tub took off all her clothes and she wasn't crying while she was doing it she was just coughing it and it was coming up and so i put her in the tub and I'm like stripping the bed so it doesn't like leak on to the mattress. Her mattress w was literally wet. So now I have to like soak it down and freeze it because it stinks. And then she's in the tub and I'm in my room and I can see her. And I see her like pushing and I'm like, oh no. So I run over here and grab her to put her on the toilet to use, like because she's pushing. And... I guess it was there already because one was in the tub and one landed on the floor. So not only was there projectile vomit, there was poop in the tub and on the floor. So then I had to leave her on the toilet, clean out the tub, drain it, put it back, clean the floor. I'm just... And it's not only this moment and all this that just happened this is kind of the the tipping point you know and like so much has happened and it's like this is the tipping point this is what's pushed me over the edge and what's just kind of like oh i can't breathe i'm drowning and so all that to say it's been a tough month and i know this is probably dumb stuff compared to other people's serious problems but it's just it's just overwhelming and it's not the kid's fault it's nobody's fault it's just i feel like i am drowning and I just so much water is just being poured on me instead of taken away so i'm gonna let her play in the bath for a little bit get her dress finish cleaning her mattress and I know, i'll probably work on the closet tomorrow or try to work on it with her there i don't know because she does not look like she wants a nap at all so i don't know what the vomiting is about because she's fine she doesn't look sick or anything i don't know if it was just because she was crying and then coughing and it just but it was projectiles it was literally probably her whole entire bottle like i'm not even exaggerating her whole bottle and probably some from this morning like that's how much it was it was 
I hope you're having a better day. And if you're not, it's gonna be okay. Okay, so Avery's relaxing in my room, and I'm getting started here. So far, this is all the clothes that no longer fit or and all that. Some shoes, some stuff I need to save. What happened, Mama? She was just laying down. You wanna come with Mommy? Whoop. Where are you coming? Oh, great. Now she's gonna get into all this. Oh, no. I was doing good. Anyway, I got the closet all situated. And like Phoenix's uniforms, shoes, shoes for Avery. No, no, no. Look, look. No, 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 no. I just folded all that. This is why I can't do this with her. So I have to keep everything by me because she will make a mess. <sighs> what was I doing? Yes, and then I have pants, outfits, short sleeves, long sleeves. And this is all like 18 month stuff that she kind of has to wear now. This is all kind of 2T and bigger. Um, and then I'm going to go through that and all the sweaters, jacket type things. I'm going to hang here. And then every day when I get her an outfit, I'm going to get a sweater to go with it and her shoes. So I'm going to leave her shoes here instead of having like a ton of shoes downstairs. Phoenix wears the same shoes every day, but she her shoes depend on her outfit. So more or less. Um, so I'm just going to leave them here and pick it all out. So let's see how this goes with her now here. Mm. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I got now that I've um, organized. This is the new stuff I bought at Children's Space. And then the rest is stuff that of hers that still fit. So all these bins were full of stuff. And now this is all we have of the old stuff. So I'll take out that bin. Just those two. A couple pants. A couple short sleeve shirts. One long sleeve. And then these things that are like, eh, they can fit. Look, that's new. They can fit still, so let's see how So these goes. are all the sweaters and jacket type things. And these are all 18 months type. And then these are all two teeth shirts and the pants. And then that's just some pajamas. Crazy, so I'm going to hang all this and then sort through all this. What are outfits and stuff like that and put it away. Hopefully be done in the next 15 minutes so that I can feed me and Avery and pick up. Oh, we're in our favorite place. We're outside again. She brought the car out. She, she gets mad because she can't move. Move, move, move. And the Phoenix is right there. Oh, careful, buddy. You're going to go back. Hey, hey, stop. Go forward. Put your feet in. Put your feet in. Put your feet in, buddy. Phoenix, put your feet inside. Inside. Like that. You look too big for this one. Look at Avery. She's like, why can't I move? I have to put the foot thing down there to move her because her little feet are dragging. Can you say cheese? <gasps> cheese. Oh. These silly kids. Daddy is sleeping, so I brought them outside for a little bit. Go. The girl. And we're just hanging out as usual. Nothing different. Alright, we parked the car. She's like, I like this sweater. Alright, I'll move you around. So I went downstairs. The kids had dinner. We just came downstairs. We're going to relax here for a little bit. They have the iPad and the phone. I gave it to them when we were downstairs because John is sleeping. And, um, I don't know. It's just been one of those weeks, months, like I said. And it's like, oh, I actually had the iPad in the drawer and I never put it there because I know Phoenix looks there and he grabbed it and you had to see it. He opened the drawer and I was like, oh, I forgot. And he looked at it and he was like, <laughs> and he just stared at it for a good like minute. And it was just like, like, is this, could this be? Because he looks there every day and it's never there anymore. So I thought that was pretty funny, but they're in their cute pajamas. I'll show you a little better view in a minute. And for, oh, that's what I was going to vlog about. So these packet lunch bags are not only good to send to work and school and everything, but if you have stairs in your house, you probably are tired of going up and down the stairs all the time. And it's not easy when you have kids in stairs. It's like right now, if I have to go downstairs to get something quick, 
I can't leave both of them up here. I can leave Phoenix or I can leave Avery, but I can't leave both of them because God forbid. And I don't even like to leave them at all because you know, they can fall off the bed, they can climb on something and get hurt. Like anything can happen in a second. So um, it's 6.30 and they go to sleep at seven. So I have to get their um, M-I-L-K. And I'm like, oh, I don't feel like going back downstairs because then I have to take Avery with me. And, well, so I put it in here. This is cool for up to 10 hours so it's in here it'll be in here for half an hour and it's like I have my little portable refrigerator <laughs> that I can bring upstairs so it's good for up to 10 hours so I, I only need it in a half hour so that was good thinking right so now I don't have to go back downstairs I don't have to because normally when John's awake he he'll go down or I'll go down and one of us will stay with the kids or whatever so it's easier but when I'm doing things by myself that's what you gotta do. So, I finished the closet. I hung up some more stuff. And the shoes and the bins are all in order. So we'll see how long that lasts. And then there's just a bunch of stuff up here that's kind of, like these are all empty. This has like random stuff in it. Some books that he's too young for, some blankets. And then I have this diaper bag here, full of cloth diapers from when I cloth diapered. Avery, which was actually one year ago today, I started cloth diapering her. I think it only lasted three or four months, and then I stopped. Once her poop changed, it got serious. So, it was actually one year ago. I still have the cloth diapers. I put them to sell once, and they did it, and then this, and then I just still have them there. But maybe I'll give them to somebody. And then in these bins here, or this thing, I have Avery's shoes, Phoenix's uniforms, kind of... Um, put together by a day because like two days a week he has gym so he wears sweatpants and stuff like that and some puzzles yeah so that was my organizing for today and I got it done thankfully because with everything that went on I didn't think I was gonna get it done and then this is what I do at night I pick out their clothes for the morning I have everything set at night and this might be OCD or crazy but I literally have everything set so that the morning goes smooth in that aspect because you never know how things are going to go with kids oh and i'm burning my my stress relief candle i love this candle if you guys don't have it you should get it um so i literally have everything out for the morning clothes like downstairs i have the oatmeal that they're going to eat inside the plate that i'm going to use with the spoon like everything there's no thinking in the morning so because with kids you never know i think it's crazy right here i have Avery's clothes, her socks, her Phoenix's clothes, his uniform, Avery's shoes. I have to return this tomorrow. So I literally have everything. I don't put my clothes out because that's not really a big deal. But I literally have everything. His book bag is set. Like everything is set so that the morning can go as smooth as it can. Because you never know what's going to happen. And I said you never know what's going to happen like 20 times. But that's my little way of doing things and making sure that I'm on time and everything and it really does help because sometimes she wakes up before him and if I didn't have it picked out her clothes I can't dress her or anything because I have to wait to go in there like it's just it, having everything set at night really <laughs> makes a difference in the morning let me show you what Avery said Avery just took these pants out of my drawer and she's trying to put them on my one. Oh, one all day she's been trying to um <laughs> when I want to try something to see if it fits I always do that and she <laughs> she is so silly all day she's been trying to put shoes on her feet that I when I was cleaning out the shoes do let me see your pajamas come here say cheese say cheese say cheese he's a little skeleton pink little skeleton wait oh look she's going to say cheese I guarantee you. Go ahead. You're going to say cheese? You got to close the closet? Cheese. And cheese? <laughs> Before, it took me forever to try to get her to stand there because she did not want to. Normally, she's pretty good at it, but she didn't want to before for some reason. And look at her now. Close it. Push. Cheese? Cheese. <laughs> Avery, are you cute? Oh boy, I'm in trouble with that one. Look, this is all stuff I have to take to the basement. Phoenix, are you cute? Are you cute? Say, I'm cute. I'm cute. Look at me. Say, good night. 
Good night. Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs> good job. Good night, everybody. Good night, Avery. Good night, Avery. Say good night, everybody. What? <laughs> Say genuinely. Genuinely. <laughs> At dinner, he was saying it, and I was cracking up, so he kept saying it. He's going to be class clown. Janwini. <laughs> <laughs> Say January. <laughs> <laughs> Say January. <laughs> Say it. Janwini. <laughs> February. Say it. Fabiwini. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I love how he says it. Look at that laugh. Oh my god. Look at this one. Go try to put my pajama pants on her head. Uh, this, is, this is what keeps me sane these moments. Because if there wasn't these moments, I would not be. I would be crazy. Phoenix. Ay, he's trying to get her to say ay because she says that all the time. You sit next to sister. Ay, ay. ay. Oh, no, no. Nope. What are you trying to do? That's not nice. Not on her face. Nice. That's not nice. Not on her face. Two. Say sorry, sister. Yes. Look at this crazy butt. Crazy butt. Bye. Hi. Ah. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say good night. Good night. Say good night, everybody. Good night, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. Amy, I just can't stop recording because they're just too cute. Phoenix, I love you. I love you too. I love how you said that. I love you. I love you. I love you too. Aw, thank you. Hey, love you. Love you. <laughs> no, you don't love me today? Alright, good night guys. We will see you tomorrow for another day in our lives. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.